Saludos, mi gente, Rafi, media vida de criticólogos. Me encuentro en Comic Fest Aguada con 2019 y me encuentro con Edmund. With the legend himself, uh, Jason Zimmer Frank, the Green Ranger, the White Ranger, the Dark Dark. I mean, so many different versions of the Ranger do you have done. I mean, which one, which one is, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that all of them are important to you. But which one means the most, the most to you? Um, well, the f I mean, the first one was, you know, the Green. I remember that. The White one, they're all, they're all great. Um, you know, so, I mean, the, the first one I love, Lord Draken I love. Uh, so I, I really love them all. Anything with the shield, haha, <laughs> I love. Um, what's the, the legacy of the Power Rangers mean to you? Everybody, when they see, when they see it, this is a fact, they all know, hey, that's what the Power Rangers is all about. What does the legacy of the Power Rangers mean to you? Yeah, well, I mean, I think the Power Rangers has changed me a lot because of the fans. Because, you know, I hear so many stories. I've been doing Comic-Cons now for, you know, seven years. I hear so many stories from the fans. And I realize that just being a Power Ranger means that you're a, a superhero, no matter if you're in a costume or not. And uh, the fans, the, the, the stories and the fans mean a lot. But also, I think the, the biggest thing with Power Rangers is nobody believed in it when it first came out. Everybody said, no, it won't. That's the stupidest show, this, that. So I always, I think, to always say, I can. And then you'll do it. Follow your passion and follow your heart. Even if, even if the show never succeeded, I still would have been part of it because I wanted to be. I wanted to be a ranger. The costumes look cool. The storyline was, you know, it was for kids, but, but I liked it. A while back, I'm, I'm, let me, I'm going gonna, gonna to jump on a time machine right now. A while back, there was this episode that, I, that you were playing with all the different versions of your Tommy, where, where, where all together in this episode and, and the, there were the bad version and the, the good version. How did that came about? Because that was so fun. I mean, I, I watched that, that episode and it, it looked so fun to watch. Did you have any input? Did, were you able to get any input when, when you shooting that scene or when, when that episode came about? Well, the only input I put in that was said, can we get stunt doubles to all look the same? The height was a little off. Um, it, but no, it was, uh, see, the writers knew me really well. Doug Sloan, Chip, all those writers knew me really well. And we wanted to write something that was, like, fun for the fans. Turbo wasn't in there, but mm -hmm. it's okay. And that's called Fighting Spirit. And mm -hmm. they just released the toys from Hasbro, Fighting Spirit toys. So the mm -hmm. Green Ranger, if you notice, you'll see the silver stripe through the, through the helmet. Mm -hmm. That was a Disney thing. For whatever mm -hmm. reason, they put the silver stripe. So the toys are out now. It's called Fighting Spirit. And actually, that was my favorite uh, episode to shoot because it had a little bit of everything in it. I mean, I like Super nin uh, um, Ninja Steel, which was great too, but Fighting Spirit was great. I really enjoyed that. I, I think it was an episode that everyone can relate, can relate to. I mean, everyone that watched you grow up, grew up with, grew up with the Power Rangers and all these different different versions. I mean, I think I related to it when I saw it. It was so fun, and then a bunch of I know a lot of a lot of the new generation related to it. Um, you were talking about Hasbro, and let me jump in right into that. I mean, if you don't want to answer it, you don't have to answer. I know it's difficult. Um, but we, we, I, like I said, I spoke to Bill, I spoke to Zach about the situation. Ha Hasbro bought us uh, the Power Rangers from Sabat. Or he, I think they bought a bunch of stuff from Sabat, not just the Power Rangers. Um, what are your thoughts on that purchase, and how do you think the Power Rangers will change going forward? Well, the first time we seen it went to Disney. I love Disney, they're great but Power Rangers kind of went on the back burner and lost ratings. I came back on the show for Dino Thunder to pick ratings up a bit. Ratings continued to drop. Then Haim Saban brought it back. The CEO is very important to the brand. You know, Haim Saban is very important to the brand. The, uh, you know, Brian, who was part of the brand is very important to him. So as far as where the legacy is going to go, I like Hasbro. I think Hasbro is going to do great things, but there is definitely going to be a delay in the series or in the movies at least for a while. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I say that is because the movie's not being filmed. It mm -hmm. takes a year and a half, two years to make a movie. Uh, you know, I played Bloodshot on Ninjak versus the Valiant Universe. Vin Diesel filmed the movie, Bloodshot, and that's gonna come out next year. So it takes time. Mm -hmm. And I know it will lead you into the next question, but that's the reason for The Legend of the White Dragon, is to fulfill the time gap. Not going against anybody, but fulfill the time gap and take our characters and show people where our characters have been. And Bat in the Sun, they create great suits. So Legend of the White Dragon, even today or yesterday, someone actually made the helmet, the Legend of the White Dragon helmet. Like the first helmet I've seen. So people are like really cranking it out and it's great. It happens, it happens. It's a 
Kickstarter for the fans so they can be part of it. And the reason why I want them part of it so they can, like, you know, get posters and shirts and they can feel like part of a team. And that's the reason why, you know, we're doing it as a Kickstarter. I'm not benefiting at all financially from it, but I'm benefiting from how great is the fans are going to react mm-hmm. to it. And, I, you know, that's how much I love the brand, and um, that's something that we're going to be doing, and that's the Legend of the White Dragon. My daughter, Jenna, who was here, uh, she's still here, but she's, you know, involved in a big way as well. You know, Johnny Young Bosch, I haven't worked with him for a long time. I've worked with Jason Font, Ciara, I've worked with all these people. So we're, we're getting people that want to be... Yeah, 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 yeah. want to be that's, part of that, the passion that's, of that's it. That's the feeling that I got from yeah. when I saw the trailer. Yeah. It felt so real. It felt personal. It felt for everyone. I mean, for, for all the different generations of, of fans of you and, and the Power Rangers. Yeah. And here's the thing. We wanted to do acting so we can grab your emotions. That's the thing is we want to grab the emotions and relate to everyone. Everyone around the world, no matter what language you speak, we all deal with with that emotion so we want to we want to captivate it with the with the acting mm-hmm. and then of course action mm-hmm. so we need a balance of both and that's kind of what Johnny Bosch has been working on Johnny's great man he's very talented Bat in the Sun's very talented but Aaron, uh, Aaron has been working on it and Johnny has been working so hard on it and he does I think he's talented he does hundreds of anime stuff you know and uh, he's great he's got a great mind and he's got great work ethics and he's the same as me and bat in the sun we want to create something for the fans jason too and ciara mm-hmm. i always get her name ciara ciara yeah you know I'm, I'm gonna put the trailer on this video so if you haven't seen it you can see it and i'm gonna put the link to the uh to the kickstarter so you can support like I, i've done i already did i already support i already supported this project one final question and this one is personal and I, I, we are speaking, you know, offline off about this. Um, I, 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 co- I cover all different cons, not just the one in here, Puerto Rico. I go to Tampa, Mayacon all the time, and Orlando, Mayacon all the time, and New York Comic Con. Um, your, your Q&A, your, your, your panel from Tampa last year was so personal. Yeah. I mean, and I, I saw that there, and I, saw, I see it on the YouTube now. You, you, you have opened up so much of yourself to this world and you're so active on social media uh what is it that you're trying to do now with this direction man i've been writing uh, i got a show that's uh hashtag jdf spoken truth and it's a poetry stuff and i've been writing these poems mask and walls and branches and stuff just i've been writing for a long time so i got to the point where i'm like okay tough karate guy whatever but i want people to know that we're dealing with everyday stuff so i just put the poetry and then I got hooked up with Cold Creek who's actually doing a film with me and Johnny called Click Boom Click in January. Mm -hmm. He's a director, he's, you know, so we put these poems together as like almost music videos, Mm -hmm. uh, which is not a music video, it's an emotion, it's an emotional roller coaster ride that you can connect with and that's that's what I want to do is I want to let everyone know I'm no better than anyone else. I deal same. with, the, we're all the same. I dealt with ADD. You could deal with depression. So when people look and they say, oh, he's got such a perfect life, it's Instagram. We all deal with stuff. So that's the poetry. It's, I put myself, I, put, I made myself very vulnerable to took a chance. Mm-hmm. And everybody has embraced it. And it's on my YouTube channel. And this stuff cost me money to do. Mm-hmm. It's not like a beneficial thing. But, but I want to put it out so they can see. So when I say, go watch it, go watch it, I'm not, I'm not making a financial gain mm-hmm. in my pocketbook. I'm making an emotional deposit in, in, my, in my emotional bank account. Yeah. And I love it because it opens other people. Mm-hmm. And that's the idea behind the hashtag JDF Spoken Truth. Yeah, Jason, um, good luck on everything. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a fan. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, but I'm also a huge fan of you. Uh, from, I mean, I grew up watching you. Um, I, I grew up watching all your different uh, versions of, the, of, uh, of J. Uh, Tommy. So, I mean, again, best of luck to you. Best of luck to, uh, to your, your daughter. She's here you. doing uh, her YouTube. I also like that, that, that the two of you are really active on social media. And thank you for everything. And, and go, go subscribe to the YouTube. You gotta, I, I do subscribe to it. I do listen to it. That's why I want you to. I really have to, you need to go and subscribe to it. Jason, thank you for everything. Thank you so much. Y seguimos aquí en Criticólogo. No se vaya nadie.